just wanted to um, talk about something actually really quickly. Um, I went to the um, a march against anti-Semitism on Sunday. Actually, I didn't go to the march part. I went to the rally part because um, uh, I wasn't feeling great. But um, anyway, I think I guess there were multiple marches um, in every city. Um, I don't know if you've heard of this. It was actually on Sunday. Um, um, Josh, apparently but... you're not following my uh, Twitter feed because I was walking across the bridge. Oh, you were. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just I want to talk about the rally for a second. Um, I was incredibly disappointed. Um, they spent more time at the rally talking about Rashida Tlaib's Twitter feed and uh, the Labor Party than actual anti-Semitism. And I guess I should expect this from the ADL. Um, and it was also disappointing because I think Bernie Sanders, uh, someone Bernie Sanders hired recently was supposed to speak. I didn't see him speak. He might have spoke after I left. I think I left a little bit early. But um, I just wanted to, um, and I don't know um, how you felt about this and if you felt the same way. Um, it was um, especially disappointing with the Rashida Tlaib thing because she is supporting the only Jewish candidate in the race for president. And um, I, I personally found the image of Bernie, I think it was New Year's Eve, of him with the uh, yarmulke. Uh, to be very powerful, and uh, very, especially in a time of anti-Semitism, a very powerful image of representation. And I just, do you think we're going to still have to put up with this uh, shit, especially if Bernie keeps um, gaining momentum in the race? Um, they're sort of trying to tie anti-Semitism to him. Because to me, it, I, it kind of felt like they were really trying to put an effort of trying to tie anti-Semitism to the left. Um, it didn't make me feel safe as a Jewish person. All right. Well, I appreciate the call, Josh. Let me let you go and answer. I did not make it down to Cadman Plaza uh, for the speeches because uh, it took us about three, three and a half hours to get across the bridge. Um, uh, and my daughter was was had 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 enough at that point. Um, but yes, I mean, I think, you know, part of the reason why I, I felt it was important to to go. I mean, obviously, we've had problems in new york city in particular but uh, around the country um but part of my reason of going to was to make it clear that uh you know the left uh is as invested in this as not and you know uh, as i was coming off the bridge i tweeted about this and spoke about it yesterday uh what's her face barry weiss is trying to do that very that same thing leverage this speech I mean, the uh, the the um, protest, the march to attack the left, to attack Bernie Sanders. We saw this from the ambassador from Israel was they, uh, you know, retweeting and nominating Ilhan Omar as the 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 greatest anti-Semite in 2019. This is a year where 11 Jews were shot in the synagogue in Pittsburgh. It is. um what they are willing to do to uh, to taint Bernie Sanders in particular. It's psychotic. It's psychotic. It's psychotic. It's extremely dangerous. And um, it, we're, uh, it's going to beget more anti-Semitism, without a doubt, because it is um, to weaponize the pushback against anti-Semitism makes it that much harder to push back against anti-Semitism. Because the, the last thing you want is people not to show up at that march because they think it's going to end up being what, in some respects, it was. It's a problem. It's a big problem. Appreciate the call, Josh. All right, folks, that is it for our time today. I didn't have uh, an IM, and I don't have.